Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Guys, I'm so happy to be back, guys. Making another uh, fragrance oil review for you guys. Yes, as you all know, I just came back from Puerto Rico. I went to visit my family there and I had a great time. It was beautiful weather, it was beautiful food, it was everything was great. So I'm ready to continue the journey. Yes! Okay, so on today's video, guys, I ordered these fragrance oils right, right before I went to Puerto Rico, guys, and, and I just wanted to review them for you. Okay guys, so I have seven different fragrance oils from Midwest Fragrance Company, guys. Uh, I ordered from them before, but I want I want to try them again. Okay guys, so I have them here lined up. I uh, written up the fragrance strips, guys. I have not smelled them yet. And today, guys, uh, because I don't want to make a candle unless one of these oils blow me away. So, but in the meantime, guys, I'm gonna take uh, the fragrance oils that I think I'll, I'm gonna be testing, guys, the fragrance oils, okay? Um, using my wax warmer. This is a regular wax warmer for wax starts, you know? Um, what I'm gonna be doing, guys, is I'm gonna be adding salt to the wax warmer and I'm gonna place a few drops all the fragrance oils that I think I'm, I'm gonna be um, interested in making candles. And I just wanna see how the hot throw goes, okay guys? This is the best way that you can test uh, the fragrance oil without making a candle. So you have an idea how the scent is gonna throw on the candle, okay? So uh, let's start. But first, what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna um, smell them all and I'm gonna give you a little bit of information about all these beautiful scents, guys. And let's see which one touches my heart, okay? So the first fragrance oil is Ocean Air, Ocean Side Air, guys. This is the, the label, okay? I'm gonna put also information on the screen so you can see more, okay? This is the way they describe this. A true and captivating aroma of fresh, ozonic ocean air coming off the coastline on a warm summer day. Okay, let's see, let's see. I already took pictures of the containers in case I made uh, a mess. Okay, so this is ocean, ocean side air. Okay, I'm not gonna read the notes or anything. I just wanna tell you what I feel, what, I, what this get, uh, give me. Okay, right away I get the saltiness. It's like uh, ocean air, but it's, yeah, very strong ocean, uh, ozonic, uh, ozonic vibe. <sighs> Let me see what else I can distinguish out of this. It's very strong. It's very ozonic. Uh, let me see the notes. Okay, this one has some kind of a citrus also. Okay, top notes, sea air, jasmine, petals, and bergamot. Beautiful combination for the top notes. Okay, now as these top notes evaporate, I'm gonna get the middle notes of Himalayan salt. Yes, blue lotus and blue lotus flower. And the base notes, eucalyptus leaf, driftwood, and misted moss. Okay, I, I find this very aromatherapy, guys. Perfect aromatherapy, perfect for a spa, perfect for, I don't know, a place that you wanna go meditate. This is a beautiful combination, guys. Okay, let's see. And I love the pictures they have in there. It's very tra uh, tranquil. It feels like you are on a, uh, on a retreat of some kind, you know, on, right on the, in, on the ocean side. <sighs> beautiful, it's very delicate jasmine petals. I can smell the, the, the beautiful flower, guys. Uh, you're gonna love this one, okay. The next one is called Sunset Citrus. I think this is great, guys, to test this um, uh, on the wax warmer because it's gonna elevate more, even more the, the vibe, okay? Okay, a unique energizing blend of citrus, sorbet, crisp apple over heart of playful jasmine and magnolia flowers with hints of soft white woods and musk. Okay, this is the, the label. Okay, sunset citrus, let's see. And this is a scent that I picked in random, you know, it's, there was no reason why I, uh, why I picked this scent. It's just, oh my God, I can smell the citrus in here. Beautiful. Something that caught my eye. Being that I was going on vacation, I just wanted something like with that kind of vibes. Okay, so let's see what this gives me, guys. <sighs> okay, I like this one much better than the first one. It's more, uh, it's, it has more energy. It's a different vibe. That one is for relaxing. This one is more for, uh, has more energy, more passion on it. Uh, oh my God. Okay, the top note, lemon sorbet, lime, crushed pineapple, honey crisp apple. Very fruity, very, but in a very adult way, you know, middle note, white jasmine, violet petals, Magnolia Blossom, this is epic, guys. The base note is white sandalwood, cedarwood, and tonka bean. Okay, this is very passionate, very romantic. I think this will go far. Okay, beautiful. Okay, the next one is called Wild Sage. Okay, Wild Sage. Okay, I'm gonna give you the information from the website. A fresh and clean 
herbal blend of sage and rosemary highlighted with hints of earthy musk, thyme, and eucalyptus leaf. Okay, let's see. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. This is perfect for a spa. This is great. If you're getting a massage with your loved one, you know, right next to each other, you know, very cleansing, very aromatherapy-like, you know. Uh, I love the mix of the herbs. I think it's very well balanced, and I think a lot of you are gonna like it. The top notes, lemon, dewy sacrament. Middle notes, uh, Dalmatian, sage, rosemary, and thyme. But very delicate, very sophisticated, guys. Very, it's not like a cheap uh, fragrance oil. It's just, it's done to perfection. Base notes, eucalyptus leaf and green musk. Perfect green balance, guys. Amazing. Truly, 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 truly magical. Beautiful, okay, I'm so glad. Okay, the, the next one, guys, I like to do my research and I like to take notes so I can share them with you, okay? Okay, this is Golden Skyline. This is the, the label. Okay, let me read you the information. Bring some comforting warmth into your home. Highlighted with notes of cozy air, apple, musk, and rush of fall foliage. Make it the perfect blend to trans to transition from summer to winter or to give you an atmosphere of warm, cozy, autumn vibes and any time of the year. Okay, let's see. Okay, this one is, guys, they are all each so different, you know, uh, which I'm very happy about this. Perfect for the fall, guys. Very cozy, you feel the warmth of the fire, you know. Very comforting, very like yummy, very loving. Beautiful top notes, autumn air, crisps, leaves, an apple nectar, oh my god, middle nose, soft lavender, and white sandalwood is very, ah, very spiritual also. Base notes, cedarwood, white musk, and tonka. Amazing, guys, amazing, truly, truly, truly ma magical. Boy, it's gonna be very hard for me to pick, right, because they're all really good. Okay, the next one is called cedar musk and lavender. Show you the label. An empowering masculine fusion of mahogany, cedar, geranium, and resinous woods, delightfully supplemented with hints of lavender, inspired by white, uh, white barn mahogany teak wood. Okay, so guys, as you can see, I love lavender, you know, and I love my my woodsy notes. I love my uh, I love energy on a candle, you know. Let's see how this one does for me. <sighs> mm, epic. Okay, I have to say, guys, that. It's hard for me to choose because they're all each so different and the lavender in this is very is very there you know which i like some people may not like the lavender to be that strong but at the same way uh, at the same time it blends with the woods in it so seamlessly and so effortless effortlessly you know very sophisticated also smelling okay top notes is cedar and musk middle notes lavender base notes mahogany geranium and oak <sighs> amazing I think anyone would love this one, guys. Okay, the next one is called Bon Dia Bright Cherosa 40 Type. I don't have no idea what this is. Bon Dia, I know it's good day. That's what I'm guessing. Oh, good morning. Good morning, I think it's uh, good morning. Okay, this is the, the label. A luxurious blend of captivating black amber, pl black amber plum, exquisite jasmine blooms, and decadent vanilla woods that will leave you feeling like pleasure is all yours. Escaping into this fragrance, into this fragr fragrant world of beauty and luxury has never smelled so good. This fragrance was inspired by Sol de Janeiro scent. Okay, this one is very complex. Uh, it's different from all the rest. This one uh, is very deep. I have to be honest, it's not my favorite. Uh, it's very intense, very powerful. I think for me, uh, this is too strong, you know? If I were to use this on a candle, it would have to be like a very low level percentage, you know? Uh, the top notes, black amber plum, creme de cassis. Okay. Middle notes, jasmine blooms, Brazilian orchid, and base notes, vanilla woods and warm moss. I have to say, uh, for those of you guys that love this kind of scent, like very strong, you know? This one is for you but I'm gonna pass on this one, okay? I have, to, I have to be honest, guys, I have to tell you what this is telling me. Okay, and the last one that I have is Dark Amber Rosewood. Okay, a rich, mysterious blend of masculine tonka bean and soft rosewood on a base of black amber resin, highlighted with hints of fresh citrus and cedarwood. 
Sometimes when you add too much, it's it's kind of like it fights it fights the mood. You know, when I like to be on a I don't know. I, I like the candles to bring me a relaxation, to give me peace, to bring me uh, passion, you know, and love. But I don't like it to be so overpowering that it's going to make me reject it. Okay, so let's see this one, guys. Okay, this one is beautiful too. This one has some kind of zonic and um, kind of background of citrusy also. Uh, yes, top notch citrus set, tea petals, morning mist. This one is epic, guys. Middle note, tonka bean. Shaped rosewood, white thyme. The combination is very like it's still it's tingling. Base note, crushed cedary twigs. I have no idea what that is. Vetiver root, black amber resin. Okay, this is epic. Okay, guys. Oh my God, it's gonna be so hard for me to try all this. Okay, so I have to say that the ones that I'm gonna try on my Wax warmers are gonna be Sunset Citrus. I'm gonna skip option side. I'm gonna try Golden Sands, Cedar Musk and Lavender, and the last one, which is Dark Amber Rosewood, okay? I'm gonna let the other ones to the side. Okay, the next one is Golden Skyline. The next one, Cedar Musk, Lavender, and Dark Amber rosewood, okay guys. So these three are gonna go I'm gonna put them to the side in here. Okay, so these are gonna be the ones that I'm gonna be testing. Let's start making the test. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna take you to the back so we can test in the background, okay? Okay, let's start the testing. Yes, so I'm having here my wax warmer, guys, and I'm gonna take the dish and I'm gonna add a couple of teaspoons of kosher salt. You don't need that much. Let me see if you can see. You need that much, so what I like to do is I like to spread it on top in here like this. Okay, so I've been here, the wax warmer and the salt. Okay, so I'm gonna test the first one, which is Sunset Citrus. It's gonna be the first one that I'm gonna be testing in the wax warmer, guys. So I'm gonna take a pipette and I'm gonna, the fragrance oil, not too much, guys, and then just put in, I use like 12 drops, okay? So put on 10 to 12 drops. Now I'm gonna let it, now I'm gonna let this, uh, the heat from the wax warmer <sighs> give me kind of like a hot throw, guys, and see what the HD tells me. Okay, guys, so I'll be back in about 15, 20 minutes, okay? Yes, come on, baby. Burn, baby, burn, yeah. Guys, it's been half an hour since I put this on the warmer, guys, and I'm giving me amazing hot throw, guys. I love this scent. This is perfect for the summertime, guys. I think this is perfect for like a party, you know, it has a lot of energy, and I'm very happy guys because I'm so pleased because it doesn't have any any coconut no and as you know guys I'm not I like coconut but it has to be very minuscule guys so this for a summer candle guys for a summer evening for a summer day I think for a summer party I think it's perfect you know it has the uh, the fruitiness the energy I don't know the the background also it's it's, it's it, it is truly amazing guys again let me read you to you the the scent profile on this, the top note is lemon sorbet, lime, crushed pineapple, honey crisp apple. I'm telling you guys, this is done to perfection. The middle note is white jasmine, violet petals, magnolia blossom. I like it because you know uh, the floral uh, notes are there, but they're not too prominent, you know, so they complement the fruitiness, uh, uh, the energy to perfection. And the base note, white sandalwood, cedarwood, and tonka bean. Doesn't get any better, guys. Okay, so I love this scent, guys. I may make this into a candle for next summer, guys. Again, this is Sense Sunset Citrus from, from Midwest Fragrance Company. Okay, guys, perfection. Okay, so now let me just clean this one, guys, because I'm gonna go to the next oil. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I clean this. Okay, the next one is going to be Golden Skyline. Now I'm gonna take alcohol and I'm gonna clean this up so I can get rid of all the fragrance oil from there. Otherwise, you don't want to contaminate, okay? So I'm just gonna add some alcohol. I'll just clean this up. Make sure there's no hint of the other scent because we're gonna go to the next one. Perfection, all you smell in here is the alcohol, okay? So again, put it in the warmer, guys. Add a couple of teaspoons of this kosher salt. Not too much, and just spread it around, you know? Just spread it around. Okay, the next one, Golden Skyline. I'm gonna add 12 drops, like I did with the one before, okay? Now we wait, and I'll be right back in half an hour. Yes! Oh my God, guys, this one is intense! 
This one you have to be very careful guys. It's very overpowering. So if you were to make a candle out of this one, it's beautiful. You have to be careful guys. You have to be between six and eight percent fragrance load max, okay? Amazing, I have to say. Okay, so the top notes for this one is autumn crisp, autumn air, crisp leaves, and apple nectar. Middle notes, soft lavender, and white sandalwood, and the base notes, cedarwood, white musk, and tonka, okay? Let me tell you guys, it's beautiful, but it's too much for me. I think it's too, it will be too overpowering. This is why I'm so glad that I'm testing this using this metal guy, because I know if I, were, if I were to make a candle out of this, I would have to use between six and eight percent tops okay fragrance mode uh, because it's drawing very hard very uh, very potent guys okay so you have to experiment you have to test at uh, the scent i'm not too crazy about you know it's it's good but it's not something that i would make a candle out of it okay guys again if, if you like to have this kind of very strong uh, scent candles guys play with the ratio because you don't want to have too much of a sometimes too much of a good thing can be can be bad okay so I'm gonna pass on this one, guys, and I'm gonna, again, clean this one. one. Again, I take alcohol and paper towels. Yes, I understand I'm, I'm doing the, uh, the fragrance oil uh, at full strength, you know, but that gives me an idea on a candle, you know, do I wanna use 10%, do I wanna use 6%, do I wanna use even less, okay? So this, that way you don't, you don't waste too much product, you know, and these fragrance oils are expensive, you know, so you, you wanna make sure that you test first. So first, you wanna test to see whether you like it or not. I think I like it, but it's, it's not something that it really like screams, oh, <sighs> make me eat one candle. It's not, for me, okay? Again, a couple of teaspoons of cautious salt. Just to create a base. So the oil will stick to it, okay? And the next fragrance oil that I'm gonna be using, guys, is gonna be cedar musk and lavender, okay? And I'm gonna be adding around 12 drops of this. And I'll come back in half an hour. Yes! I love doing this, yes! Okay, guys, I have a special star. I have, I have a special guest. This is my cat, Lucky. Okay, she's kind of shy. Let's see. Ah, Lucky. This is the first time on a video. Yeah, say hello. Okay, I'm gonna let her go and I'm gonna come back, guys, because this, this fragrance oil, guys, is a must. It is a must. Okay, let me just open the door for Lucky. Come on, Lucky. Cedar musk and lavender is a must make on a candle. So I'm gonna make a candle out of this in the future, guys. This is beautiful. It's really like, it's burning so beautifully, guys. It's just very relaxing, very calming, very masculine, very, I don't know, very comforting. I love it, okay, guys? Oh, my goodness! Excellent! Okay, so now let's get for the, for the last one. So let me just clean this. When you smell African oil, African oil on a test strip, it's not the same. Okay, so let me just clean this. Put it back into the tray and let me add some more salt for the last fragrance oil test. So two teaspoons like this. Check it up, so level it up, okay? Now the last one, the name is Dark Amber Rosewood. Okay, again, 12 drops. About 12 drops, more or less, okay? Okay, let me put this one to the back and I'll be back in half an hour, yes! Success, success! On today's video, this is Milo, yes! Milo, my little, yes! Okay, guys. This one is also epic, okay. Dark Amber Rosewood is really nice, okay. This one is also worth making a candle. Oh my God, it's very, 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 very sophisticated, very like, very romantic, very, I don't know, very energetic too, you know. And it's a must for a candle too, okay guys. So take Milo down. Okay, Milo, thank you for coming. Okay guys, so let me give you my final assessment on which of the two fragrance oils these are the two fragrance oils that I will make a candle, guys, on a future video. It's Dark Armor Rosewood and Laven Cedar Musk and Lavender from Midwest Fragrance Company, guys. I have to tell you guys, I'm very, I'm very impressed with these two fragrance oils, guys, and they deserve to make a candle out of this one, okay, guys? Oh my God, I'm so happy, guys. So this is the video for today. I hope you enjoy and, and that you learned something from me, guys. Again, using this technique, 
for you to sample the fragrance oils that you may think that you may want to make in a candle. It's a time saver, guys. It's also a money saver because you don't have to make a candle out of it, so you save money on product. And let me know, guys, in the comments below if you've tried this technique before, and let me know what your results have been. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. And uh, again, I'm so happy to be back from Puerto Rico. And I had a great time making this video for you guys. So hopefully we'll see you in the next one. And uh, until the next video, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, guys. And also don't forget to check out my website, CandleRomance.com, so you can shop all my beautiful candles. Okay, guys, until the next video, be well. I love you. Yes, success, success, yes. <laughs>